previously on Isle of Life. It's Uncle Thomas. That is the most unsafe roller coaster I've ever seen. Okay, Islanders, it's the next day here. Um, and luckily, the abnormal high tides have obviously disappeared. And because, tell, because I tell you, if, this is, if you have normal, if you have. Abnormal high tides were on the rise right now. This would probably be under. But yeah, the, the ground is wet from, from weeks of rain. Weeks and weeks of rain. But there's a lot. There's a lot more to the story though. And I actually found out, and one of my friends posted a picture. Uh, actually, I took a photo of one of the boats here that were underwater. Uh, apparently, that happens to be with this boat right here. What was the steering wheel? This one right here has been underwater ever since the rain started. And it's still flooded somewhat. Still a little flooded in. So I can see what, what happened now. But yeah. I'll get the umbrella up now. Stop the gales from blowing into the camera's mic. There we go. Look at that. Now just do it like this. Stop the uh, stop the gales from blowing so crazy. And all the oysters do. Uh, all the oysters are underwater. Um, which is, I think it's pretty good to see that oysters are underwater. Because I know a lot of people point back and say, oh, still some oysters are still above, but no, no, not in this instance. In this instance, the oysters are there and they're not underwater. Now the gales are blowing, I got my umbrella facing that way the stick facing out towards the right this is to reduce the gales blowing because they're, they're very pretty powerful they're like up to 30 kilometers 30 kilometers an hour that's how powerful it is and undoubtedly there's the sand right there that means that we're back on shore which means time to put the umbrella back up um, so, yeah. But someday we're going to go down that trail down there. See what's down there? Not much. Oh, hang on a second. I think there might be a mailbox there. I think there might be private property. Oh, well. I'll double check that myself. Um, so I think it might be a mistake. Uh, I think we might be able to cruise down there eventually, but we're not going to do that now. And I'm going to go Islanders, um, but we'll we'll see we'll see the uh, water over near my house and see how far that is. So I'll see you there. Okay, Islanders, we're actually here at the RSL, but it seems they're still in a bit of strife at this point. Um, as you can see, it's still closed. Um, but yeah, they're in a bit of strife at the moment. Um, as you Islanders probably have seen, if any of you that live on Russell Island would know this, but. There's been a number of things going on, and they were placed into administration in December, um, just a couple of days before the uh, vaccination thing was rolled out, um, to you know came into effect. But yeah, as you can see, it's just closed. Really, really shocking. And what's even worse is that they still have their gambling license to sort through as well before they can even possibly reopen but you, you, but you Islanders have seen the Cyrus Cell um, a few times already I've actually shown you in an episode where there was actually a nearby landmark if you wanted to proceed ahead you can go ahead and do so but yeah, as you Islanders have guessed that's what happened there and this landmark that seems to be right over there 
Yeah, that's where I perform. That's where I did my outro for Island in Life, right there, over there. So there's, there was a lot of things up there. So, yeah. All right, we'll see you over near the section of my mice. I'll just zoom in. But, yeah, you can see right back there was where the water was, but you can't see it because we actually went past that. But yeah, you can see right there. That's the that's the house that was put in place you know, some time ago. So yeah, we'll just keep going down here then. Don't worry, you weren't even in the video. <laughs> office, pol oh, oh. office policies prevent you from being in it. Okay, so down here is well, there's a lot of unsealed road here, and look at that. You can see it is just soaked. It is totally soaked from all this rain. You can see down there, on it is. It is soaked. It, 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 if, if it continued raining it, like continuously, it would be waterlogged. And I know that there's like key, there's key hot spots around Russell Island where it's low lying. Um, it's num there's, yeah, there's a number of low lying hot spots around like Russell Island where where the water will obviously get to that first. Whereas where I'm living at, I'm actually on a, a hill um, with house on stilts, so obviously that's pretty good. Um, there's Tallulah Avenue, which is which is the Island Life way of saying it. What I obviously do is I find out what, what the name of the street is and then just substitute it instead. Yeah. Kind of like what they did with that neighbors on Ramsey Street. Yep. So that's what I've done there. Although some of these streets will use the actual name. And then there's Monorail Avenue. <laughs> And of course, um, that other avenue that we saw back there on the left-hand side, that was actually Savannah Avenue. Now, Bowen Avenue, which I think is pretty interesting, because Bowen was actually where, tro where Tropical Cyclone Debbie actually first made landfall. Over near Bowen. Okay, I don't think we we're actually going to be finding anything down here, down these, down these um, roads here, so... Yeah, we can go down the Rocky Point, but that's far. Yeah, we can go down there. Alright, Islanders, we'll see you at Rocky Point. Islanders, you will not believe this, but look at that. That is flooding. I, I, I told you, I told you, Islanders, that there was that there were several hot spots around, several hot spots of Russell Island where there is flooding, and this is one of them. My goodness. Luckily, luckily it actually isn't up level with this road here. If you wanted to keep traveling on, that's okay. Just thought I'd get, you know, the islanders to see this because as I mentioned to them a little earlier about the hot about the many low lying hot spots around Russell Island where flooding is obviously a big thing and sure enough. If you look at the video footage right here, you can see it. It's clearly inevitable. Alright Islanders, we're making our way to Rocky Point, so I will see you over there. Right, we've, all right Islanders, we've just found another flooding hotspot right here. Now, of course the water is obviously a bit dangerous down here, especially since it's on a concrete road. You can see that it's inevitably, it was going to be a lot of hot spot flooding. But yeah, you can just see it, it's all around. We're actually nearing Rocky Point anyway, so I will pause and I will see you once we are there. Yeah, all right, now that we're at Rocky Point, I wanna, might wanna show you all um, a few places around here. Um, just, just before I obviously uh, end it off for now and um, report back to you all tonight, if Uncle Thomas will come back. But I just figured that, look at this, these cars come through and they normally park here, right? Well, not today, not today. The only thing that's parking there is the water. There's lots of water right along where the tire tracks would normally be standing. 
and the water's up quite high too and yep I can see it eroded quite somewhat there so more of what used to be there obviously these trees right here which had been standing there for quite a long time um, it's obviously some of the land has completely eroded off there um, due to these uh, these lots of uh, king tides here and this right here is basically on the edge of being eroded down into the uh, murky water and there's certain key sections along this ground here um, that are obviously have been broken off as well like trees right here have been broken off um, as well as a result of what's going on and if we go down here you can see that it's eroded out a little bit it's actually eroded a little bit along here but not by much but I know that this tree right here it's definitely eroded out over there like that tree is literally on the edge of being pushed out into the bay and if that happens then this big tree right here will most likely be the biggest piece of debris in the water see these markers it really shows you just how serious this looks everything's broken off see you later, later. all right island is right up ahead here you can see the road is Closed. It is seriously waterlogged. I think, I think an arch enemy is obviously hard of hearing. But if you see right there, Islanders, look at that. Do you see that? Look at that. It is waterlogged right there. It obviously has eaten up the road. Because, because the road is so waterlogged, it's obviously, the rain's been eating away at that road. Oh my word. That road has seriously been gobbled up. It is gobbled up. Oh no, that is not good at all, Island. It was seriously gobbled up. Gobbling up that road there. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow on 5th March. Bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.